Hi guys, this is Harjit here. I hope you're doing good. Guys, uh, in our last video, we covered topic of how to create buckets in Hive and in Spark. And, uh, uh, you know, there were a lot of comments uh, I have got over a period of time where, where people have asked that, uh, you know, how to select the number of buckets uh, for a Hive table or for a Spark table. So as part of this video, I'm going to answer that question. So, uh, you know, before we get into details of it, uh, you know, you should understand what is bucketing and how it is different from partitioning. If you have not if seen my videos or if you are not aware of uh, these concepts, I recommend you to go through my video uh, on these topic, uh, which will help you understand the basics of this concept. Then only you will be able to understand the gist of this video. Okay, let us uh, get into this question. So when you are deciding number of buckets, uh, you should keep two things in mind. So you should uh, you should keep this thing in mind that for every bucket, uh, Hive creates one file on HDFS. So as you know that uh, uh, you know for every file, uh, HDFS will divide that file into blocks. Each block size is normally 128 MB by default. Uh, if uh, if your files, if you are creating so many buckets, and uh, the every bucket that you are creating is having size very less than 128 MB, uh, you will be creating a lot of small files in HDFS. That is going to create a lot of problems in performance terms for your jobs. So that is going to create a problem when you are inserting data into your table because for every bucket, one reducer will be created. And if you have very small buckets, then number of reducers that will be created will be huge because you will have huge number of files and all those files will be very, 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 very small and representing each bucket. So you should have uh, your bucket size uh, approximately equal to a block size or uh, you know bigger than the block size. So that is normally helpful um, when you're selecting uh, number of buckets for your uh, uh, partition or for your table. Okay, so one other important aspect is that uh, a single bucket should be able to fit into memory. If you your bucket size is so big, the size of each bucket is so big that it's, it is not fitting into memory, then you will see a decrease in performance. So it is normally recommended that your bucket size should be such that it should easily fit into memory of that container which is going to process it. So it could be a, a you know executor which is processing that, or it could be you know a normal uh, you know a process that is started on the cluster which is processing that. So I hope these two basic things are clear. So guys, I uh, looked into lot of. Uh, uh, on internet also and i thought you know i uh, it will be good idea to share those links with you um, to help you know uh, more about this this topic so uh, okay so first link is hortonwork community con uh, community uh, link which i found on internet while i was uh, trying to google about it so about this topic so uh, this link says the same thing that uh, you know one bucket size should be at least equal to one block or one file in HDFS. So if you have a lot of small buckets, then you are creating a lot of small files, which is inefficient for the IO of uh, HDFS file system. So it will make your insert operation also slower in that table, and it will make uh, any job processing that data also slower, because uh, if there are a lot of small files for each small file, you have to create uh, one mapper, or you have to change the configuration um, of your job to combine multiple files uh, to give it to a single mapper. So there will be a lot of performance degrade that you will see if you are uh, files, if you have a lot of files and each file is of small size. Uh, and uh, so that's why you should have a bucket size which is almost equal to a block or uh, a bigger than uh, a bit bigger than the block. Cool. So I also found this uh, this link on. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Spark mailing list. So it, it gives a very good detail. So there's a person named Mark Rover. Uh, 
who is answering this question so he says that uh, uh, you know he normally uses this formula to find out what is the appropriate number of buckets so he says that number of buckets are equal to x into your average partition size divided by uh, jvm memory available on that task load so now let us understand what does this formula mean so it means that uh, uh, your average partition size uh, divided by jvm memory available on that uh, uh, task node into x so what it is this formula is trying to do is uh, this is trying to uh, come up uh, uh, trying to increase the number of uh, 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 number of buckets if uh, if uh, your uh, memory is low so if your memory is low you have to create more buckets jvm memory is low you have to create more buckets and if your partition size is uh, uh, more then also you have to create more uh, uh, you will be end up creating more uh, uh, buckets so now x is the tuning parameter which this uh, writer calls as uh, you know factor of conservatism so if you have lot of uh, skew in your data if you have uh, in within a single partition you uh, you have huge amount of data then you would like your uh, more uh, number of buckets to be more so in that case x is going to be a bigger value if uh, your uh, uh, you know partition size is so big that uh, it cannot fit into memory then also you would like that's also to be big uh, uh, because uh, you know uh, then it will eventually increase the number of buckets that means you should increase the number of buckets and uh, each bucket should fit into memory so this this uh, this writer uh, mark rover is also uh, you know focusing on uh, the capability of putting the buckets into uh, main memory so that's the main driver behind it if you if your partition size is very small then you can decrease the value of x uh, and uh, that means lesser number of buckets and if your jvm memory is also very high that will also lead to lesser number of uh, lesser number of buckets so you can have lesser number of buckets so each bucket can contain more data uh, and because it will fill into uh, uh, your uh, uh, jvm memory so i will share the link of these uh, two articles in in my description i hope this video was useful for you to answer this question that how many buckets you should have in your uh, partition table at very high level you should keep these two things in mind that uh, uh, each bucket size should be at least equal to your block size or it should be more than the block size and buckets that you create should not be very huge they should be able to fit into your main memory so these these are two main uh, criteria main points uh, while deciding on the number of buckets i hope this video was useful folks uh, you know if you have any question please post message in the comment section i will be answering that uh, if you have uh, uh, you know please share the content with your friends so so that we can grow this channel and also share the questions that you are facing in your interviews thank you